Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a main menu screen. So in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a main menu screen. In this tutorial we will have the play button which will send the player straight to the game and then they can continue with the game. There will also be a credits button, basically what credits are are basically like a shout out for whoever worked on the game. So let's say you had some scripter work on the game you can mention their username there to kind of give them a bit of credit and a bit of a bit of appreciation for working on the game. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties are not open, you want to hit the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, we want to head over to Start a GUI and click the plus button. Insert a screen GUI. Then in the screen GUI, you can rename the screen GUI to whatever you want. But for this tutorial, I'm not going to rename it. Then click on the plus button next to screen GUI and insert a frame. Basically, this frame is where everything is going to be. So I'm just going to make it fit the screen. You can adjust the, the size and everything here, but I'm just going to use the grabby things. So now that you've made this frame, I'm going to set the uh, background transparency to one because we do not really want to see the frame. If you want the frame to be there and have it like a, like a background color, you can. Um, but for the tutorial, when a person loads in, they will see the game behind. We want to name this frame main frame. So this is going to be the main frame where when the person joins into the game, this is the first UI that they will see. This frame will include the credits button and also the play button and also the update button. So now that you've uh, renamed it, you then want to go and insert a text button. You can also use an image button, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a text button. And then we want to reposition this to the position you want. So let's go try find the middle. Let's go just above, kind of like there, something like that. But then we want to rename this to the play button. For this tutorial, we can just call it play. So this is going to be the button where if a player clicks it, it'll send them straight to the game. So we just want to go and adjust the text. You can adjust this to whatever you want. But here we go. You can also... Um, text scaled, you can change the font, color, whatever. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now that you've made the play uh, button, we want to go and insert a local script. We don't need this local script currently, so we just want to close it there. So it should look something like this now. Now you want to go back up to the mainframe and insert another text button. And we want to rename this one to credits. This will be the button that if a player clicks on it, it'll open up the credits menu just like that. Oh, sorry, that's the text. Actually, we need that, we need that. But um, here we go, here's the name. We're gonna change this to credits. Then in the credits uh, text button, we wanna insert a local script. We do not need this local script as of yet. So now what we can do, we can go and click on the button next to mainframe here and close this UI. So now that we've made our main menu frame, we wanna go back to screen UI, click on the plus button and insert another frame. We now want to rename this frame to credits frame because this is going to be the frame where all the text is shown for whenever someone clicks on this credit button. So we just want to change the name of it to credits frame. You are able to name it other things, but it just means you have to adjust things in the script, which I'll show you how to do. But if you just follow on whatever I call anything, I suggest doing that. It makes it just makes it a lot easier. So now that we've got our frame here, let's meet it in the middle and let's expand it. Let's say we want uh, the frame to be about that big. Keep in mind, this will be the background or the UI which will show our text. So now inside this credits frame, we want to go and click on the plus button and insert a text button. We then want to rename this text button to credits close because this is going to be the button that closes the script. So let's just put that here. It will, we, we, you can adjust it. You can insert a credits. Um, so you can insert a image button instead. And instead of if you want like a actual X button image. But for this tutorial, we're just going to make it a button. Let's rename this and let's just make the text X just like that. as kind of like a close thing. You are also able to make the background transparency one and adjust whatever you want. But I'm just going to make it kind of like that. So now that you made this credits close, we would then want to go and um, create a sc local script again. 
And then we don't need this local script currently, so we just want to go up here and click the X and leave that local script for now. Then in the credits frame, we want to go over here and insert a text label. You don't have to change the name of this text label, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be calling it text that shows credits. Because this is, well, actually, it's not really going to be the, uh, the text that shows the credits. This is going to be the text at the top where it says credits. You are able to, what we will be doing is duplicating it and putting another bunch of text down here. So this one here is just going to be the title. So I'm going to change this to, let's scale it up. Let, oh, sorry, uh, let's change this to credits. And let's change, you know, for this one, let's change the font to make it a little a bit more intriguing. Maybe something like that. Let's make a credits one like that. So anytime someone clicks on that button, this UI will close. So now let's make the one where it actually says all the credits. So what we want to do, we just want to go back here and click on the credits frame. You can insert another text label. You can also just duplicate this one if it's easier, but I find it easier this way. And let's just say we want one like this, just like that. And let's go and adjust this to where it says text scaled. And let's say you want to maybe put scripter. Sorry, I did this completely incorrectly. Let's say we just put it like that. So that will be the scripter. If we duplicate that, drag that along and put it like that. And we are also able to remove the outline so it is not so obvious. So now that we've got our scripter here, let's go and change this to saying, I don't know, my username, we'll put it as that. There you go. So the scripter is so and so, and that is like a credits thing. You are obviously able to add more detail into it, change the font, make it a look, look a bit nicer, change the background color. But this is really just a very simple, basic design. Uh, if we see here, there we go. Border pixel one. We want to check, set that to zero. That will remove the border. We want to do the same thing here where it says scripter. Let's just go up to border pixel and we'll set that to zero. Now, let's say you wanted to make maybe one where it says GFX artist or maybe um, builder or modeler. You just duplicate these and you change out the text. It's as easy as that. Just make sure all of these text labels or text things are inside your credits frame. So once you've finished adjusting the credits frame and customizing it to whatever you want, we then want to go and click on the credits frame and we want to click on visible and disable visible so that our play and credits button only is shown. The reason for this is because we want the players to load in and only see these two buttons. If we had the credits frame or the, sorry, if we just had the credits frame of a, uh, visible, when the fir player first joins in, this UI will be shown. But the moment they click on that, the other UI will be shown. I'm gonna show you how, guys how to do that now, but just as like a d extra coolness we're going to be adding a bit of a blur effect this basically makes it so the players cannot completely see what is behind the player and credits uh, sorry the play button and credits now if players click on play this blur will disappear it kind of just makes the the play and credits button more focused so now that we've added the blur effect into the game keep in mind you do not need to have the blur effect you can skip that part you just have to adjust a couple things in the script, but I'll show you how to do that now. So now we want to go over to our screen UI again. We want to start off with the main frame. These are the play button and the credits button. So for starters, we're going to be working on the play button. So in this script, this will make the play button and all the other UI disappear if we click that button as well as the blur effect. So what you want to do, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste script one. It will be labeled something like play button script script one for example you want to copy and paste that part of the code and bring it back to roblox studio so remove all the previous code and paste in that code so once you've inserted the code into the play button script there's a couple things we can change if you didn't add the blur effect you want to go and remove this code of uh, this line of code here line seven where it says game dot lighting dot blur dot size yada 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 you want to go and remove that if you do have the blur, you want to keep that one. So basically what happens here is an animation. So when the button is clicked, an animation will happen where the, um, the main UI will float off or disappear off the screen in an animation way. You are able to adjust these different parts 
feel free to have a bit of a play around, but I'll show you how they work in a second. So once you've finished adjusting everything here, you then want to go and click on the X button up here, and then let's go test it out. Keep in mind, the only thing that will work right now is the play button. The credits button and everything else will not work. So let's go click on play and let's go test out the play button. As you guys can see, we have just loaded in. And if we go and click on play, as you guys can see, an animation of the main frame UI floats down. Obviously, the way and the way you adjust it in the script will determine on where it goes. So feel free to play around with that until you get whatever you want. So as you guys can see, now that we click play, the, all that other UI disappeared and now we are able to play the normal game. So now we want to work on the credits button. So if someone clicks on this button, the UI will pop up. So we want to go to our main frame and we want to go to the local script below our credits button. We want to open that and we want to move all the previous code. Then you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste script 2. It will probably be named something like credits button script 2. You just want to copy all that code that is there and bring it back to Roblox Studio and paste it in. Depending on what you named your credits frame, well, our what we call credits frame, depending on what you named that frame, you want to change a couple of things here. So if your thing is called credits, or let, let's say because ours is called credits frame, here it says credits frame, credits frame. Let's say you your name you named your frame turtle or or frame. You just want to change these. Uh, um, Sorry, you just want to change these parts of the code where it comes up highlighted with your new name. So, for example, if you named it Turtle, you change these three areas to Turtle. So now that we've inserted the code into the credits button script, we want to go up here and click on the X button to save that script. Then we want to go to the credits frame and we want to click on the local script where it says credit close. This is now going to be the script where if that button is clicked, that credits frame will close. So what you want to do, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is under something probably called like credits close script or script three. You want to copy script three and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code that's in the script here and paste in the new script three code. And depending on what you called your main frame or what we called our main frame, you want to change here. So let's say you called yours dog, you want to change your mainframe, this mainframe name, to your mainframe, if that makes sense. For example, if your mainframe was called dog, you change this to dog. So now that we've inserted all the necessary code, we want to go up here and click on X. So now we want to go and click on the play button and go test it out. As you guys can see, we have loaded into the game here now. And before the blur disappears, we've got to click on play. But now if we click on credits, as you guys can see, the credits UI will pop up. But if we go and click back on this UI, the credits UI will close. And the moment we click on play, those buttons disappear. And then a player is able to walk around, run around and play the game. To make it so that the UI doesn't reappear if someone dies or resets in the Roblox game, you want to head over to your started GUI and click on your screen GUI that holds the credits frame and the main frame. And you want to scroll down until you see it reset on spawn. And you want to remove the tick and disable it. So whenever someone dies or resets character now, this UI will not show. So there are a couple cool Roblox plugins you can use to customize your UI even more. Like let's say you wanted to have round edges to make it look a little bit smoother and not so boxy. You want to go to your plugins or you've got to install the plugin first. The uh, link to this plugin will be down in the description. It's called Roundify. So now, now that we've opened our plugin, we want to go and select the UI that we want to um, adjust or customize. So now you've, that you've got your UI, you want to go and click on the Roundify button. Now, as you can see, the text has now disappeared because it is now an image. So we want to go and click on the play button here in our main frame and we want to insert a text label. We now want to go and make this text label slightly smaller than the actual button so that it doesn't overlap and override the button, the uh, sorry, the curve button. So now we want to go and remove the border pixel so that there is no border and it's just one simple color. And then we want to go and change the text 
to let's say play and let's scale the text so as you guys can see we have now got a very smooth button and even if we go and adjust this if we go and click on play the button will just work like the button that we used before so if i go click on this the U the blur will disappear and the ui will work so if you guys are a little bit lost or don't really know what you're doing feel free to send me a message on discord and i'll happily help you out you are also able to use the studio help channel in my discord server the link to my discord server will be down in the description below so all you do is you load in you verify and complete any verification and agreement then you want to go over to the roblox studios channel here there are plenty of channels to come and chat in then you want to find the studio help channel and then you want to create a ticket by clicking that button and me and our staff will try and get back to you as soon as we can there is quite a large amount of tickets being opened and people needing assistance so please be patient and please only use tickets if you are actually needing help but anyway guys i'm going to wrap the video here if you did enjoy i'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it but anyway have a lovely rest of the day and i'll see you guys all in the next video Peace.